Is this thing on? She'll speak into the mic and tell us what exactly happened on May 28th, 1969. Okay. Take your time. Okay. Well, my name is Frank Wilson. I was born in my hometown of... At that time, I was a private second class. I was on duty that day in Vietnam. It was meant to be just another search and destroy operation, which I was used to by that point. I was with my platoon in standard formation with my squad, of course. It was hot. Like, really hot. The sun was shining and our skin was burning. <laughs> Sergeant Phoenix was in charge of our little operation. Now, he was a major dick, but god damn did he know what he was doing. He briefed us on everything before we got out there, and we'd been informed that we had no air support due to some uh, attack that happened east of there, which meant that we couldn't rely on bombs giving us a helping hand, which was a major kick in the balls. We were heading through the jungle, and we felt what seemed to be like a uh, miniature earthquake, but we were told to ignore it because, you know, bombs go off all the time, it's nothing unusual in the war. We reached the entrance to the village around 10 clicks from our fire base. But when we went inside, the entire place had been completely destroyed. The huts were toppled over and there was fire and bodies everywhere. We searched the entire area and uh, checked for survivors. And underneath one of the huts we found this uh, man. He was bleeding and screaming, but all he was saying was Kong Bon Nye. Yeah, it was Kong Bon Nye. And that meant uh, a mantis. Now, we just uh, sort of brushed it off. I mean, uh, oftentimes you get called nicknames like a uh, demon or devil. Code words were often used by the Viet Cong, so this was nothing special. But then the ground started uh, shaking. But unlike before, this time it was much more violent. It was almost like something was moving around underneath us. And at that moment, the ground, it collapsed, and, and dozens of soldiers fell into this enormous pit. The dust and the trees were flying everywhere, and I, I ducked for cover. And when the shaking stopped, it became eerily quiet. I covered myself with dirt and hay. If this was a Viet Cong attack, I'd make sure they couldn't find me. And now, what happened next is something you're not going to believe. I was lying there, staring towards the pit, but then this enormous insect-like arm, it rose out before planting itself on the ground. It must have been, what, 50, 60 feet long? Then another one came out, but this time it landed close to my head. And then it rose itself up from the ground, and, my God, it looked like if you took a wasp and mixed it with a praying mantis, it had uh, uh, six legs, wings, huge 30-foot claws, and beady yellow eyes. It would twitch in a way that make its next move unpredictable. I've got up close and personal with the Viet Cong before, but I'd never been so terrified as I was in that moment. I just laid there, completely still, unable to move. This thing started to lumber around the area. The rest of the platoon were horrified. Nearly half our men were killed when the ground collapsed, so what's left won't even get to try to take this thing down. All but one man, driven insane by the mere sight of this thing, he started firing his M16 at the creature's abdomen, but the bullets were only bouncing off. This thing must have had armor stronger than steel. He might not have injured the creature, but god damn did he piss it off. The monster, it suddenly launched itself towards the soldier and picked him up with its huge pincers. The man screaming only stopped once the monster tore him in half. Blood and guts went everywhere. My god, it was horrible. It let out a deafening screech before lurking away to the jungle. We waited a few minutes to be sure it wouldn't come back, and what's left of our squad regrouped. Of course, the area was quarantined and blocked off, and we were told to keep our mouths shut, but, you know, word gets around. They say the war in Vietnam had drawn it out from hibernation, and the cavern it came from was heavily irradiated. Rumor has it that there's even more out there, and after seeing what I saw, I'm willing to believe anything now. Later that week, I overheard some soldiers going over the rumors that the Japs had contact with it even earlier than we did, and that they called it, um, Kamakutus. My god, what if it spreads? Either way, I hope I don't have to experience anything like that again. This war is bad enough. We don't need giant fucking insects adding to it. I don't think I'm going to look at this world the same way again. Who knows what else is out there? I don't even want to think about it. All right, that's all I saw. Can I leave now? We'll be sure to let you know when you're allowed to leave, Mr. Wilson. What?